Support Wrestle Talk. Like us on Facebook. Hello and welcome to the Wrestle Talk News. I'm Ollie Davis. And as I can tell you from working with my best friend forever, Luke Owen, who's still my best friend despite all the weirdness over the last week and a bit. I mean, how many times can you laugh manically and make kidnapping jokes? There's nothing better than being around your buddies as much as possible. WWE wrestler Rusev seems to agree, as he's revealed who his best friend is in an interview to TV Plus, which appears to be Bulgaria's version of Between Two ferns. Seamus! No, 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 I'll have to say Lana first because she's going to get mad at me if I don't. After her, it's Seamus. What about Aiden English? Rusev went on to explain how they got so close. I think our friendship might have happened when we were in League of Nations, but I'm sure that my visit to his home in Ireland gave the start of our friendship. Now he lives five minutes away from my house in Nashville. The two are such good friends now. Rusev revealed that his family pet is named after the Celtic warrior. My parents named our dog after Seamus, and he was very honoured. It was very emotional for him, and even cried. Speaking of making a WWE wrestler your bitch, how's that for a segue? Daniel Bryan has spoken to Inside the Ropes' Kenny McIntosh about being in the ring with Titus O'Neil at the Greatest Royal Rumble, immediately following his much-mocked trip on the way to the ring. I was in the ring, and keep in mind I had been in the ring for a long time. I didn't know anything had happened. Titus slides in the ring and punches me in the face, like really hard. He's got these big, huge hands. It's just like, boom. I'm like, whoa, what happened? And then I, and then I'm like, I was, I was like enraged and I was gonna go kick him in the face. And then I glance up and you see the Tron and they've played it like 12 times in a row <laughs> of him tripping and falling and sliding into the ring. And I was just like, you know what? I understand. I'm gonna go over here. I'm gonna leave him be. <laughs> Click the eye above my head to watch that full video, where Brian also talks about who he thought was going to replace Shane McMahon in their WrestleMania 34 match. Brian missed out on qualifying for Money in the Bank this week when Samoa Joe choked him out, and according to a new report from WrestleVotes, the Samoan submission machine is now well placed to go on to win the coveted briefcase. Texting with a source regarding Money in the Bank winners said plans aren't locked in, but at last check, source said it's looking like the men's winner is coming from SmackDown, women's winner is from Raw. Don't take as fact as plans always change, but that's the feeling as of now. If those plans stay in place, this means the women's match winner would be one of Raw's Alexa Bliss, Ember Moon, Sasha Banks, or Natalia. With the latter having a ready-made feud with best friend forever Ronda Rousey if both win their Money in the Bank matches. And the men's winner being either SmackDown, Samoa Joe, The Miz, Rusev, or a member of The New Day. As for which member of the new day it'll be, BW Insider have apparently heard the faction will choose Big E to compete in the ladder match. Which makes sense given his two pinfall victories over The Miz on the last two episodes of SmackDown, and PW Insider's previous report that WWE are planning to give him a big singles push. As a special treat for the SWAF Nation, if you visit WrestleCrate.co.uk and use the discount code WTTV, you'll get a free DVD or autograph in your first box. WrestleCrate is a monthly mystery box full of loads of wrestling goodies, which has items from the biggest promotions in wrestling. Check out Inside the Ropes full interview with Daniel Bryan by clicking the video on screen now. And give us a subscribe to keep up to date with all the latest backstage wrestling news. I've been Ollie Davis and that was wrestling.